so hard to explain this stuff when you just write it and you feel it and then someone's like, what is that about? <laughs> the song is about having had enough. Okay. Yeah. Had enough of what? Uh, everything. <laughs> okay. Hey USS Feed, uh, my name is Amelia, aka Phaser Days. Uh, welcome to Mala Paham with me. There's got to be a certain resonance with me and I guess it's just it's just gonna make me feel something so I guess I just search around for I keep experimenting until something sticks and um, I know when something sticks is when I feel something I can't even articulate it just feels right <laughs> that's that's my process for deciding what stays and the thought of you leaving gets heavier every day and my mind is deceiving what is it that I'm believing? <laughs> no one's ever asked me this and I don't, haven't even thought about this myself I guess it's just about attachment and then the fear that comes with getting attached uh, to someone or something and um, and then how that fear can play into your mind. I think that's what this, this part of the song is talking about. So I wrote Lucky Girl in a flat. It didn't have any windows, I had no view. I remember it was really hot and I was, I actually recorded it on a microphone that was breaking. So there's a lot of distortion in the chorus. Um, and that was for my first take of the chorus um, on this broken microphone. But I really liked it and I kept it in and it gives it this wash of um, noise and yeah it was just one of those songs that came to me in two minutes and I couldn't really nothing about it was forced it just happened just came through me I think there's a lot of like complex feelings in it it's kind of happy and it's kind of sad both of those things at the same time steady now before then slack stepping now before then back Underpassing all your dreaming I'll admit feeling a little uneasy about You wanna cut me out It's so hard to explain this stuff when you just write it and you feel it and then someone's like, what is that about? Um, I think this part is really about yeah, the ebb and flow of a young relationship <laughs> Again, that, the growing pains I think when I was writing it I was thinking a lot about my high school years and my high school relationship that I was in and how scary, uh, what, a, what a scary time it can be with watching people leave your life for the first time. There's kind of like a push and pull between um, your journey of growth and someone else's journey of growth and feeling this inevitable tension between where you're each going. Um, often it's just separate ways. <laughs> So I don't know how to explain this. Um, yeah, so I guess it's it's really about like growing up. Yes, I was waiting on the other side of the road. You're always looking for a way to make me slow down. The song is about one of my closest friends at high school. I guess I was just describing my friendship with someone and also just this vision I have and this memory I have of um, literally standing on the other side of the road and, um, and I guess me trying to move on to this new chapter of my life of like growing out of my teenage years and maybe feeling like she wanted me to stay young and a bit useless and I was trying to I guess grow up a bit so I yeah the low-key loser stranger to herself for the moment drift into her hell look around her three years wasted now she sinks in further dead ends multiply the song is about having had enough. Okay. Yeah. Had enough of what? Uh, everything. Okay. <laughs> I went through a lot of stagnation where like nothing in my life was moving forwards. And then I wrote the song and it like unlocked a lot of stuff for me. It was like actually just admitting. Now you only call me up at night time. 
Just when I'm about to close shut, I think about you empty in the daylight. Hook me with your words, you know the lines, right? Told me that you love me and it's all right. Making up excuses, do they sound right? It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Winter is about a season of disappointment with someone. Uh, like a slow heartbreak. And it's a song of disappointment, feeling like the beck and call of someone, like they, I'm waiting for someone to reach out to me and they're only doing it on their terms. <laughs> I think it's that Indonesian crowds learn the lyrics really well. And then the last time I was here, they sung so loud I couldn't hear myself sing. So I, um, I hope I get to experience that again. I have a new body of work coming out next year. So um, I'll be touring that and sharing that with the world soon. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching Malam Paham with me, Phaser Days. Don't forget to subscribe.